Hey there, folks. Welcome to the complete Skyrim Fishing Guide Part 2, Swims in Deep Waters questline and Radiant Repeatable Fishing yes. Bounties, brought to you by KeenGamer.com. If you haven't checked out the first part yet, please do, do so. I highly recommend doing those quests first. Tidings. That is called Angler Acquaintances and Varia's Fishing Bounties. Now let's get to it. Now, I played of this course. before, this completes Angler Acquaintances, it's just here again for the purpose of a transition. This that begins Swims anything. in Deep Waters questline of Fishing Challenges. My thanks to you. Yeah, so, first quest of his is called Catch of the Day. Catching simple, fair weather fish, which means perhaps cloudy, maybe sunny, but no precipitation. So this is the Karf River, very near to Markarf. Fishing for a carp here. Not using the Alakir rod because a carp is a large fish. So you want to optimize what rod you use and where you are based on what's written in the book and what fish you're trying to catch. This is Lake Illinalta. Here I'll be catching a glass fish, which is a small fish, so that's why I'm using the Alakir rod now. And that fish is uncommonly caught, so I waited until dawn, because as stated in the book Line and Lure, fish that are not commonly caught, you are more likely to catch at dawn and dusk. This is another goldfish spot, and you need a goldfish for this quest, so you can grab one at the pond just outside Port Newgrad as well. Got one there. Now this is just outside of Riverwood on the northern edge. Here I'll be catching a pogfish. They are river fish. It, any river will do fine. The book says specifically to reach, but really any river. Using the regular rod here because that's a large fish, so you don't want to increase the probability of it being a small fish or an item. So just using the regular rod. And there it is. Need something. Now returning to swims in deep water to get the next one. It's all in this note. It yep, next one's truth. called Caught in the Rain, as the title suggests. These are going to be rainy weather fish. My thanks to you. So this is where it gets a little bit harder. And as I said before, Fishing Mastery Volume 2 is spawned. So now that you kind of have a feel for what rod you use to do what, that kind of thing, as the rain begins, I'll walk you through kind of how you approach catching those fish. First, Swims in Deep Water has lost his lucky fishing hat, and now the player must fish it up using the Dwarven Rod here, because it's an item, so might as well increase the chance of getting it, and there it is. Now the rainy weather begins. So as I'm catching each one, kind of get a feel for, for how the strike looks and all that. So I do want to talk about the rain a bit, because that's really the difficult thing here. So it doesn't rain super commonly in Skyrim, but in my experience, at walking through Skyrim, every time I've played it, I can recall a lot more times that it's rained in Falkreef than most other areas. So what I recommend doing is waiting for for days at Lake Illinalta until, until you get rain, then kind of do a circle through all the fishing spots around Lake Illinalta to try and catch all the rainy weather fish that can be caught there. There's a pearl fish, since that's small, use the alakia rod for that. Use the regular one for the catfish, because that's a large fish and don't want to increase the chance of it not being a large fish. So this next one is the pygmy sunfish. So a lot of people struggle with this one, so I also show later in a quest called Further Research another way to get this fish. So like I was saying before, yeah, wait at Lake Illinalta until you get rain, then do this circle through all the fishing spots. Fish each one dry, then move on to the next one. 
get as many of the rainy weather fish as you can from that. Then figure the next steps out. It, don't wait, because if you wait, the rain might stop. Just do the circle as long as you can. So trying for the spade fish now here, just beneath Deep Fold Crossing. This can be caught at Lake Illinalta. I have, I have caught it there. Using the Alakia rod, it's a small fish. And that's all the rainy weather fish. Yeah, so this is in Helga's bunkhouse, swims in deep water, lives there. Sometimes he will get stuck in there. So if you're sitting at the Riften fishery and he's not showing up, the quest marker is leading to Riften, then just feed him here. Time for the frozen fish. This, I'd say, is actually a bit easier than rainy weather fish. Yep, grabbing in volume three. Yeah, this one's easier because there's a lot of a lot of Arctic spots. And for rainy weather, he awards the Argonian fishing rod, which will greatly increase the chance of catching large fish. I'll use it heavily to catch the Arctic fish. The frozen fish. Yep, here I am at Solstheim, just off the coast of North Shore Landing, using the Alakia rod here, because believe it or not, one of these fish is small. The angler larvae. So a big part of what I'm trying to do in this guide is show you a variety of spots. So don't think that this is the only place you can catch an angler larvae. It is not. Any Arctic spot will work. When it comes to finding a good spot, just use your head. Read the book and use your head. Here I am at Hella's Folly, another Arctic spot, using the Argonian rod because the remaining free fish are large. One strike. Two strikes, three strikes, and the hook. This is an arctic char. You saw me grab one earlier for the seafood feast quest. This is just on the Windhelm docks, also counts as an arctic spot. One, two, and the hook. This is an arctic grayling. It's probably the most common arctic fish. Back on Solstheim. This is just on the southern edge of Hockneer's Shoal. There's one. There's two. And there's three. And the hook. Now that's a cod. Very tasty fish. It has done a good thing. And that completes frozen fish. As a token of gratitude. Of course, maybe you can help me. Now another step harder, Thanks underground fish. So if you look at the written version of this guide, I made a very handy map of every fishing spot in Skyrim and labeled them in accordance with is it on the exterior map? Is it in a city or anything that's not on the exterior map? And also specified if it counts as underground. So please take a look at that. That'll be very helpful in finding spots to catch all your fish. This is just outside of Darkshade. There is a fishing spot that counts as underground in here. Now, whenever I went into a dungeon, I made sure to also show what opposition I was met with. This is a troll lair. And because these fish are also a bit more obscure than, than the previous ones, I also made sure to show a place where you can just reach out and grab it in case you're having trouble getting a specific one. Yep, there's this nice little pond here. This interior map will just show where it is in relation to where I entered.
using the Argonian rod here. This is where I catch a dire fish. There's one, two, and the hook. And that's a dire fish. And wanted to show you right here, there's also one swimming in the pond right here. Back on Solstheim, I made sure to show Damp Hall Mine, because, like, there is a fishing spot there, but also this is a really cool dungeon that not enough people know about, because nothing really takes the player in there. I don't do the whole thing, because this is a fishing guide, but, yeah, it's a nice spiral up kind of, kind of reaver lair, and at the top there's this, if you've watched Game of Thrones, there's... And there's a city, the, the Eerie, where they have this thing called the Moon Door, that yeah, that's something on the floor that opens up, that, that the Lord kind of drops people through. This essentially has one of those. Yep, just simple Reavers inside, and the fishing spot is not too far in. This is where I catch the glass catfish. This is a large fish as well, so using the Argonian rod. One, two, three, and hook. There is a glass catfish. You can also reach out and grab one in Blackreach. You have to have made it to a certain point in the main quest to access Blackreach. I've right in this pool down here. And now this next fish I actually do catch in Blackreach. So you might knock them both out here if you choose to. Just reach out and grab the glass catfish, and it can also be caught with the rod here. That entrance, the Great Lift of that band, is the one that will get you the closest to the fishing spot. far from where the main quest will have the player enter. And this is where I catch the tripod spiderfish. Argonian rod, it is a large fish. One, two, three and hook. And this is where you can reach out and grab one. They're commonly found in caves. There is also another dire fish in here. Just one troll. This is where a player can acquire the bow of the hunt. Clear spring, tarn. And also there's a pond outside that also has goldfish. There's a dire fish. And on the other side, yeah, yeah, that's it for that side. So on the other side, this is what tripod spiderfish look like just in the water. They are stagnant. It's kind of sitting there. And they're very common. They are by far the most common to just find in interior ponds. This next location is in Fort Dawnguard. It's a dungeon of sorts called Dead Drop Falls. So the original Dawnguard are a big mystery in Skyrim that has 
so far been unsolved. And this is one of the locations that many theorize is a major clue as to what really happened to the original Dawn Guard. So, right there on the map, there's the entrance, and here's the spot. This is where I catch a vampire fish, and I also want to remind everyone that when you're fishing for an uncommon or rare fish, you want to wait until dawn or dusk to increase your odds. Dawn or dusk is usually somewhere in between 5 o'clock and 6 o'clock. I showed you there, you can also catch a vampire fish in there. Of course, it's all in this Then you return to swims in deep water. My thanks and fishing legend begins. These are rare fish. For these, I also did make sure to show both with the rod and the place where you could just reach out and grab them. And fishing mastery V5 here. I highly recommend grabbing those books. This is where I'll be catching the angelfish, just on the coast of Hartwood Mill. Using the Alakir rod, and it is dawn. Now, these rare fish will have four strikes. A good approach is. After the fourth strike, the second you see the rod move, start pressing A. That's what I did here. Like the the margin for success is very, very thin. So you want to watch that rod after the fourth strike. At the second you see it move, that's when you start pressing whatever button it is you use to reel in. Angelfish can also be found swimming around in the Ancestor Glade. Just this pond inside. And there's some angelfish. There's also a spade fish. And look, there's pygmy sunfish. This is the Pilgrim's Trench fishing spot. It's on the islands that the fast travel marker will leave you on. There's one, two, three, four, and the rod moves, start reeling in. And an angler. Now very near to here, on the island just north, that's where I start. I'm going to show you where you can find one in the wild. Yeah, I had to swim pretty deep for this one. A lot of people comment on Bethesda's lack of doing a whole lot with water, but this is a nice little thing that gets that can get someone down deep in the in the ocean. I am nearing the angler here. Yeah, that that spire there is a good marker. Then you get this cave, and there's the angler. Yeah, here's where it is on the mini-map. Maybe the most useful thing to you in finding it.
Yep. Now I'm just east of White Run, this nice spot along the White River. It is dawn. Using the Alakia rod, this fish is small. One, two, three, four, and rod move, start reeling in. Yep, that is the lure tail and Fias. They can also be found swimming in the Evergreen Grove Pond. If you're looking to catch it with the rod, it is a river fish. Yep, and here they are swimming around here. Now this is Shadow Green Cavern. It's a dungeon kind of similar to Bloated Man's Grotto, where you've got this partly interior cave, but big opening overhead, which apparently only exists on the inside of the cave. It is not on the outside. And there's this little pond here, not far from the entrance. Wasn't met with any opposition getting there. Using the Argonian rod, because this is where I'll be catching the scorpion fish, a large fish. And remember, you can likely catch multiple of these in the same spot. This was a great location to catch a lot of the underground fish as well, and I caught the scorpion fish here. Here it is. Only known place you can reach out and grab one is the first pond in Darkfall Cave. The books describe the scorpion fish as living in very dark caves. This is likely why this location was chosen, Darkfall Cave. Not far in at all, first pond. And behold the scorpion fish. And that concludes Fishing Legends. Return the sweeps to deep water. He tells you, man, you are awesome. You've already learned all I can teach you. And he awards another throwback item. The Fang of Hainek Tamet. I understand. It's now I'm going to show you team. his fishing bounties. These are radiant quests, radiant repeatable quests like Thieves Guild jobs. So I just show you an example of each. This is further study. You need to obtain a specific fish for a certain individual so they can study it. This time it'll be the pygmy sunfish. Like I mentioned before, I wanted to show you where you can reach out and grab this. The book says can be found in East March in the pools made by geysers. So here it is, has to be raining. So what I've found is it seems I'll like they spawn in one pool upon yeah. entering the cell when it's raining. So if you're not finding one mm -hmm. in a certain pool, you I may understand. need to try a different one. It's all in this note. Now this is stocking up, you just gotta got a few of the same kind of fish for a certain individual. This time it's brook bass for the innkeeper at the night gate. I'm where Lake Illinalta meets the White River. Just grabbing some brook bass. Now you deliver them to whoever requested them. Just some meat. Thank you. Here, this is for you. Need. I under. It's all in And the last note. kind is called rubbish retrieval. All right then. So what this is, is you've got to fish up junk from a certain spot. I've been sent to Markarth multiple times and rifted once. So I'm using the Dwarven Rod here, because you're trying for items. Yep, there it goes. There's one. 
and skip ahead a little bit. And there's six. And you report back to whoever Good commissioned to the bounty. Fine. Thank you. Here. This is and that concludes the complete Skyrim fishing guide. Please check out the rest of Keen Gamer. There's great news, opinion pieces, reviews, and more on KeenGamer.com. Hope you enjoyed this guide. And check out the written version for the complete map of all the spots.